more than 12,000 of the Longbridge workforce turned up for the mass meeting. They were told that BL had gone back on its word. The bonuses had been promised in return for unions allowing 7,000 redundancies. Anyway, they heard the Austin Morris plant was close to its production target. Meetings with management had made no progress. This was the time to act. There was no point in waiting for all the BL plants to vote. Immediately the decision for action is endorsed <laughs> by the membership. All those in favour, please show. The vote was massively in favour of an instant walkout. There have been dire warnings that another stoppage could spell the end of BL. After this one, would there be a plant or a job to come back to? I'm confident that we shall have a plant and a job to go back to. I note that Mr Edwards may not have a job, indeed, he's already seeking tax exile. I wish some of our members on the wages that we get could seek tax exile, the same rate as himself. Leyland workers over recent years have got a reputation with the public for perhaps doing things very quickly and doing sometimes stupid things. Is this one of them? I wouldn't thought so, but, you know, you, you were here last year when we persuaded our members not to. If anyone's adopted a responsible attitude, it's the workers in Longbridge. Was it responsible to go ahead today with this strike? Well, I think it was eminently responsible because it seems that that's the only language that Mr Edwards and his senior management understand. We'd have preferred not to have gone on strike. We had no alternative. And our members, annoyed as they are, have put the money where the mouth is and they've took this action, which I think is the only action that we could have taken. An hour after the vote, the vast Longbridge plant was closed. A few minutes after that, the pickets were mounted on the gates.